I want to give you a taste of how materials can be represented in a more general way. You'll also learn a great term to impress your friends and confound your enemies. Think about a surface and how it reflects light. The two variables we use are the light's incoming direction and the amount of light reflecting towards the eye. So at its simplest, a material can be represented by this function. Given a light and eye direction, give back an intensity. This function is called the BRDF, which stands for Bidirectional Reflectance Distribution Function. Let's look at that phrase. First, it's a function. The inputs are the light and the eye. The function depends on two directions, so it's bidirectional. These directions are normally given with respect to the surface itself. That is, each vector is often given as two numbers, the altitude angle and the azimuth. The altitude is the angle away from the normal, and the azimuth is the angle of the vector when projected onto the plane. The phrase reflectance distribution means how the light is spread. One simple example is a perfect mirror. The reflectance distribution in this case is that when the eye's direction is exactly equal to the light's reflection direction, all light is reflected towards the eye. Every other eye direction gets no light. Another basic distribution is diffuse reflection. For some given incoming light direction, the direction to the eye doesn't matter. That's the definition of diffuse reflection. Since this value is constant, diffuse is then represented by the surface of a hemisphere. Specular highlights are represented by lobes. This distribution represents a glossy surface, where light is reflected in a general direction. The light's direction determines where most of the light's energy is reflected. If the lobe gets wider, the specular reflection spreads out. Written this way, our BRDF needs four numbers, two for the light and two for the eye. But if you think about it, most materials really only need three, these two altitude angles and this azimuth between them. For example, if you put a sheet of paper on a tabletop and rotate it, both the light azimuth and eye azimuth angles change with respect to the paper, but the angle between the two remains the same. Most materials are fine with three numbers.